hey guys welcome to my self-care routine that so i start with my teeth uh, once i'm in the bathroom i brush my teeth thoroughly uh, make sure i brush my tongue because right now i don't have a tongue cleaner so i use my toothbrush i make sure i clean my tongue thoroughly and the teeth as well so after i'm done cleaning my teeth i take my hair removal cream this hair removal cream i've been using it for the longest time because it does not have any side effects on me um i'm a bit sensitive i use it on my private parts to remove the hairs because i can't stand the waxing pain uh, so i wait for it to rest for five to seven minutes so that i'm able to remove the hair easily While I wait for the cream to take effect, I, I prepare my hair for shower. Uh, I untie the knots and then I turn a kidogo. Then, so that it is easier, well, I, well, after taking a shower, it will be easy for me to comb it. So I prepare it for a shower. Then that's me. I go to the shower. And so I use my shampoo and conditioner, Zoe, two in one. I wash my hair properly. I wash it clean. I always wash my hair after every two days. Yeah, so I wash it thoroughly. Especially when I'm afroing, I wash it. I skip a day and wash it. Right there on top of the moon We could sit and do nothing I wish we were both To just fly away so once I'm done with the shampooing and, condi shampooing and conditioning, sorry, I use this Cantu Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream because it repairs my hair from breaking, from breaking, the ends really break sometimes. So I use this Cantu Leave-In Conditioner, I apply it evenly, then I, after I apply it evenly, I'll wear my shower cap so that I continue the rest of the, the rest of the shower. So by now the hair removal cream has really worked and while when I was washing the the hair the hair removal cream has removed all the nini the hair the unwanted hair where I had applied the cream because it's kind of a chemical and it kills the hair so in a toy water so it has already drained it is already drained by the water so first of all i'll use this dove soap to clean my body i clean the body of the dirt uh, so i'll clean it evenly remember to clean behind your ears After I'm done cleaning and I've rinsed off the soap, I'll use this coffee scrub to scrub my body. Mm, this is the first scrub I use because I use two scrubs. So I use the first one, the, the coffee scrub. Then I'll use this turmeric and yogurt one because this turmeric is not as rough as mm, the coffee. The coffee scrub is a bit rough, mm, so it gets rid of the dead skin. Uh, then the turmeric one is a bit smooth. 
Yeah, so I'll first of all use the coffee scrub, but it is the coffee scrub is still oily as much as it has the roughness kidogo, but it is still oily. So it's really friendly to the friendly to the skin. Uh, so after I'm done with the coffee scrub, scrubbing a scrub using it, I'll use the turmeric and yogurt one. After scrubbing, I'll rinse it off thoroughly. So once I'm done scrubbing, I'll go to the shaving of my armpits and my legs. So I'll use this deeply nourishing dove shower gel to apply on my armpits and this big razor. So I'm going to shave my armpits and my legs. My hands are quite hairy, but they don't nini. I don't shave them. So I just shave my armpits and my legs. I always do this once a week because uh, during the week uh, the armpits are not yet grown so i'll get rid of the hair every saturday uh, my legs and my nini and my my armpits yeah So now after I'm done with the hair removal process, I'll take my 
sponge and wash my body for the last time uh, so I'm going to scrub uh, every part of it with a shower gel uh, remember do not use the shower gel into the private parts uh, and as for me my intimate wash I do not use any femme mini intimate wash I only use salty water throughout because I have tried so many so many vaginal washes and all of them really affect me I don't know why in one way or another I'll always get something out of the nini out of the vaginal washes so after I'm done with my showering I always use salty water on the outside of the vaginal area uh, because I can't eat the nini soaps. I don't know if there's someone who has found a legit one. That's if you're sensitive, if you're sensitive. Uh, for me, I use salty water. So I'll take a shower with the shower gel. And then after I'm done, I'll rinse off with salty water my intimate area. Yeah, so. Oh, and that's me. Yeah. So once I'm done with my body, I'll go ahead to the sink and wash my face. I use this turmeric soap um, and I wash my face using it in the morning and in the evening. And I use cold water. It's really nice and it's friendly to, the, to my face. Yeah. So this towel, the white one, I use it to dry my lady parts. Yeah. Then after I'm done with drying my lady parts and my body, the black one is for my body. I'll use this after shave because um, it really helps me if I feel like itching where I've shaved my my armpits and my legs. No, I don't use it on the private parts. I use it on my legs and my armpits. I then use this fruit of Ocali aloe vera moisturizer on my face and parts of my body also. So I also I will also apply Clozol B on my chest because I'm having this rash and Clozol B helps me get rid of it. Uh, yeah. Then I'll use this American Dream Aloe Butter on my body. I get it from one lady. She's very efficient. And her contact, of, I'll link it in the description box. Uh, yeah, I'll apply the body cream on my body. This cream really, if it will make your skin even. If maybe you have some parts are black, others are, are light, it's going to even your color. 
so then after i'm done with the body cream i'll use the palmas on my legs i always mix palmas with my body my body cream on my legs because i feel like the palmas cocoa butter really smoothens my legs then the aloe butter makes my skin glow and also makes the skin even the color will be even your color will be even if you use this aloe cream yeah, yeah. Yes, and after that, I'll use Aremis on my lips because it's in the evening and I'm not going anywhere. But during the day, I use this La Roche, I can't remember that name, La Roche or Poche, I can't pronounce it, uh, sunscreen on my face. But right now, it's in the evening and we're about to go for supper and then go to bed. So, I'll, al I'll always use Aremis on my lips, then go ahead and do my hair routine. There's a video I've done, I'll link it on my afro routine so i'll just dry my hair then apply my castor oil uh, on the on my hairline uh, this is tony oil's castor oil castor oil i use it on my hairline because i have a i have a lot of baby hair but they really i have kipara let's say kipara yeah so i'll always use castor oil on my hairline to help my hair grow on the hairline area Then I'll use this Zoe hair food inside the inside my scalp to avoid my scalp from drying. So, uh, but right now I'll just use it on my hair because I'll oil it later tomorrow when the hair is completely dry. Yeah, so I'll just use it on the hair. Then after I'm done, I'll wrap it around so that I can. You know, so that it can dry before bedtime. Yeah, and your girl is clean and reset for the week. Yeah, see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.